What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Big Blue in the Bronx YouTube channel. Be sure to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you know when the live stream pops or video drops. Appreciate y'all coming back. Share this out as well. Give us a five-star rating on Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts. Also, thank you for getting us over the 600 subscriber hump. Now we can focus on 700, 800, 900, and hopefully 1,000 in the future. But none of this would be possible without you guys. Much appreciated. Also, check out last night's Boys in the Big Apple episode and uh, this morning's episode, well, really this afternoon's episode of Big Blue in the Bronx podcast with Paul Dottino as we broke down the roster, talked about some roster questions as well. So... With that being said, let's talk about the unofficial depth chart, breakdown, thoughts, and then we'll get out of here. So, I'm going to go position by position. Let's start with the quarterbacks. No surprise there, Daniel Jones over Tyrod Taylor. And, uh, well, yeah, no surprise there. Uh, Daniel Jones is the starter for this season unless he gets hurt or he is seriously hindering offensive production. He's going to be the starter. Uh, and then Tyrod Taylor serves as the backup. No Davis Webb. He is on the practice squad. Then you got the running back position. You got Saquon Barkley as the number one, Matt Breed as the backup. And then it gets a little funky as we go back. Gary Brightwell, who had a good preseason, um, or at least the first preseason game he really showed out. Second preseason game he didn't play in due to injury. And then the third preseason game he just mostly served as a kickoff return guy. And then Antonio Williams, who played most of the preseason, probably most of the snaps out of any of the guys uh, that were on the roster and are currently on the roster, but he gets the fourth seat in the running back room, followed by Chris Myrick, who is probably going to be the fullback. And I find that interesting because they had Jeremiah Hall, they cut him, and your other two tight ends, we could skip to that real quickly since we're on the tight end subject. Daniel Bellinger and Tanner Hudson. So, surprisingly, they didn't mention Myrick as a tight end. They look like they looks like they're going to feature him as a fullback. So, interesting to say the least. One of the wide receiver position, your first stringers, Ken Galladay, Wandale Robinson, and Kadarius Tony. Uh, a little surprising that Wandale is the number two at this moment. Um, you break into the second stringers. You got Sills. Richie James and Sterling Shepard. Sterling Shepard could be a second stringer, quote-unquote, uh, because of the injury, and he's coming back from that torn Achilles ACL. I, I always mix it up, and I'm pretty sure it's a torn Achilles. Um, and he's looked better in practice. He's off the PUP, so hopefully he plays this weekend against Tennessee, but I wouldn't take too much stock into the fact that he's a second stringer on the depth chart. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Darius Slayton is... The one and only third stringer for the wide receiver core. It's kind of telling in a way. Um, they didn't feature him a lot in the preseason. You could say that about other wide receivers as well. Uh, he was excused from practice today. I'm not going to start any rumors or controversy or speculation. Uh, we already talked about the tight end position. Let's talk about the offensive line. Andrew Thomas, Ben Bredesen, John Feliciano, uh, Mark Lewinsky, and Evan Neal. Ben Bredesen played a couple of games for the New York Giants last year, uh, most notably in weeks one and two. Week three he played as well, and then he was replaced by Matt Scora and served some time on the bench, at times played center and left guard. Um, but if he's healthy, it looks like he's going to be the starter entering week one against the Tennessee Titans. Then you look at the second string offensive line and obviously there's some repeat names josh azudu takes the second string left tackle and left guard names uh left tackle because he played a little bit of left tackle in camp and then left guard because that's his home position uh we don't know if he's going to be healthy for week one they'll probably activate a couple of names if he's not but he should be healthy i don't see why he won't be healthy uh Backup center and right guard is Ben Bredesen. Surprisingly, Jack Anderson doesn't take one of those spots, but at the same time, Jack Anderson's only been in for a few days. So Bredesen's been working out at center uh, this offseason, and then obviously 
uh, a little bit of right guard. Then right tackle is Devery Hamilton. I find it interesting that they see him as a tackle rather than a guard because he was pretty good at guard in the preseason. Uh, a tackle, not so much. So right tackle for the second stringers, Devery Hamilton. Then you break into the third stringers. Devery Hamilton takes the left tackle spot. Once again, I guess they see him as the swing tackle. Then the left guard is Tyree Phillips, who they just brought in from the Ravens. Can also play right tackle, and he is the second string right tackle. Can also play a little bit of center. Uh, no third string center listed. Then the right guard is Jack Anderson, who can play left guard, center, and right guard. So a couple of versatile guys on the inside. The outside I'm a little bit worried about uh, in terms of tackle because Devery Hamilton has struggled to tackle when we're looking at the tape against starters Overall, I mean, when we played the Jets, he just didn't look so good. So that is the offense. Now we're going to take a look at the defense. Let's go move down here. Okay, do we have a good look of the defense? No, we've got to scroll down just a little bit more. Okay, we are with the defense. Let's talk about the defensive line, the two defensive line positions, and we'll talk about linebackers. Dexter Lawrence holds the nose tackle spot. No surprise there. Then you got De uh, excuse me, Leonard Williams at the defensive tackle spot. Backing him up is Nick Williams, so you might as well just call that position Williams. Um, nose tackle spot, backing up Dexter Lawrence is Justin Ellis, and then the rookie DJ Davidson, who honestly I might see as an active uh, for the first few weeks because he wasn't that great in the preseason, but then again they might just throw the rookies onto the field and throw shit at the wall, see what sticks. Then you look at the outside linebacker position. you got Aziz Ojolari and Kayvon Thibodeau as the starters. Uh, if they don't play this weekend, it looks like it's going to be Jihad Ward and O'Shane Zimenez. Uh, and then Taman Fox backing up Zimenez at the other outside linebacker position. Hopefully Quincy Roche is activated if one of those two guys or if both Ojolari and Thibodeau uh, cannot play this week. So we'll see what happens. They did individual drills today, but not too promising. Anyway, inside linebacker position, you got Tay Crowder at the mic and uh, Austin Calicho at the will. A little interesting that Calicho is in with the first two. I thought Michael McFadden would be because I thought they would just throw Michael McFadden in the fire. Obviously not. Um, so it looks like it's going to be Crowder and Calicho starting. However, I think McFadden will still get some reps as he is the backup Mike linebacker. He is also the backup Will linebacker uh, behind them. It is Carter Coughlin at the backup mic, and then Cam Brown at the third string will. So with that being said, now let's break into the cornerback spot. You got Adoree Jackson. Aaron Robinson is the boundary corner. As Donnie Holmes is a slot guy. Then, no surprise, you got Cordell Flock covering the second string boundary spots and the nickel spot. Once again, no surprise. Um, and then the two waiver wire pickups, Nick McLeod and Justin Lane at the backup, or I should say third string boundary spots. So that is the cornerback position. No surprise that those guys are not in front of Flot because Flot was drafted by this regime. A and B, McLeod and Justin Lane just broke in with the New York Giants. Um, with that being said, safety position. You got Julian Love as the strong safety and then Xavier McKinney as the free safety, backing both of them up is Dane Belton and then Jason Pinnock. Uh, Belton, obviously, rookie, and hopefully he plays in week one. If he doesn't, Jason Pinnock will probably come in. Maybe Tony Jefferson comes in as well. So that is the defense. Now we take a look at the special teams real quickly, real quickly. You take a look at the long snapper, Casey Kreider, holder and punter, it is Jamie Gillen. Your kicker is Graham Gonneau. And then your kick returner is Gary Brightwell, who returned some kicks in the preseason. Behind him is Richie James, and then Richie James heads the punt returning squad with Donnie Holmes behind him. Hopefully they find somebody else to be that backup punt returner because I don't want any starters getting injured. Jabril Peppers tore his ACL last year because he was returning punts. Anyway, be sure to hit that like button, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on that notification bell so you know when a live stream pops or a video drops. Appreciate y'all coming back. Thank you for getting us over the hump of 600 subscribers. Uh, peace out, guys. See you later, and stay cool. Mm -hmm.